Okay, so um, when you're running a Facebook campaign, um, quite often there's a need to exclude certain people. So for example, you might want to exclude people who have already converted or exclude people who have already visited a certain part of your website, depending on obviously what type of campaign you're running. Um, there are a number of ways to do it. Um, they're all pretty easy. Um, so I'll start off by just showing you actually where you add your exclusions in. So I've set up a test ad set just as a demonstration. Um, so if I click edit, I'm in the power editor by the way. Scroll down below the budgets at the point at which you would add in a custom audience. Um, and as you can see, there's an exclusion box. So what I've done is I've already created a audience of people who have already visited my website. That's through obviously having the Facebook pixel live on my website to allow me to do that. Um, so I just add that audience in there if I want to exclude it. Um, I've already built out audiences for things like people who have converted, people who are on my newsletter, that type of thing. So I could also add them in there. If you want to exclude people who uh, are connected to your Facebook page, i.e. they have liked you, um, you can do that here. So um, on the connections function, just select Facebook pages um, and then exclude people who like your page and then you'll be able to do that there. So in terms of actually building out these audiences, if we go through to the audience uh, section of the ad manager, do website traffic, um, we might want to just build out a specific converted user audience. So um, I can do that here. So people who have visited specific web pages, I can enter in my order confirmation or my form confirmation page, for example. If I really want to capture as many people as I can, I'll set that to 180 days. Once I've saved that audience, I might save it as um, converted users, for example. Save that and then I can just add that as in as an exclusion to exclude anyone who's successfully converted on my website. Um, other things I can do, so there's another option here, um, very similar but slightly different. So if I select a different option here, the custom combination, let's say I want to target people who have visited a certain category. So I want to target people who have visited my trainers category. Um, I can then add an exclusion for the thank you page or the order confirmation page. That would obviously depend on how your uh, URL is formatted. I can then obviously send set a timestamp on that audience as well. So that's basically saying target anyone who's visited that category but not yet converted. Um, and that's built out at the point of building the audience rather than adding in the exclusion specifically at the ad set. So that's another different option for you. Obviously, you can build out custom audiences with things like email addresses as well. So um, just go back and show you that. So when you go through to the options, you just click customer file, then you can upload email addresses. So for example, if you're running a newsletter campaign, uh, like with lead gen ads, you're obviously going to want to exclude anyone who's already on your newsletter. So you just do that here by entering in a list of people who already exist on that database. And it's really as simple as that, um, dead easy, um, and definitely something you should be doing when you're building up your targeting.